Hi, I'm Taylor Kunquist for Creative Pro, and this is a sneak peek of my session on tools, tricks, and time savers for PowerPoint, which is all about doing a lot more in less time with a lot less stress. At the 2025 Presentation Design Conference, which takes place online March 12th through the 14th. In this session, I am gonna share with you four specific PowerPoint commands that everybody should have on their Quick Access Toolbar, or QAT for short. And in this quick teaser video, I wanna share with you the very first one, which is the alignment tool. And here's why. If I hit a slide like this, and I call this the million dollar PowerPoint shortcut when it's set in the first position of your QAT, simply because I can come into my slides, here in PowerPoint, if I want to align all of these rectangles to the top, I can simply select them. Instead of going to the Home tab and then coming to the Drawing Objects and then coming to the Arrange Dropdown and to the Alignment tool and then to the T for Top, I can simply, on my keyboard, hit and let go of the Alt key. You can see the one key right there on my Quick Access Toolbar. I hit one on my keyboard. You can see all of the alignment options light up with options. You can see T for Top. I hit T for Top and the rectangles align to the top. In the same way, I can Alt 1, the alignment tool opens, hit H for Distribute Horizontally, and all of my rectangles are now horizontally distributed and aligned to the top. And if you don't like keyboard shortcuts, you can still do this with your mouse. I call this the million dollar mouse move. You select your rectangles. Instead of using Alt 1, I'll simply with my mouse, click the alignment tool, click T for top, click the alignment tool, click distribute horizontally, and all of the objects are now properly aligned. And this is the secret to turning your hardest to reach, most frequently used commands into easy to use keyboard shortcuts or easy to use click commands so that you can just fly in PowerPoint. And I'm still gonna share with you one, two, three more of these during my session. On top of that, we're also gonna look at how to drive our ribbon using our keyboard, how to save and apply your favorite chart formatting so you can just format a chart once and then just punch it out on all of your other charts. We will look at how to spin your content, kind of like in a Rubik's Cube for quick design iterations. And we're also gonna look at the closest you can get to editing in slideshow mode, which if I just exit out of slideshow mode, looks like this. So this is the normal PowerPoint view. You can see I have my ribbon kind of punched in the top. And if I click the normal icon down below, I get all of my thumbnails back. So I will show you how to create this editing in what appears to be slideshow mode. If that sounds intriguing to you, please join me for tools, tricks, and time savers for Microsoft PowerPoint, and I will show you how to fly in Microsoft PowerPoint. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.